Hi, I'm Alessio from the Open University. I'm here today with Steve from the Wofton Community Council. I'm calling from my office at the Open University campus in Milton Keynes. And Steve, uh, you are in the Wofton Community Council. I am. Thanks. I'm in my office. Thanks for being here. So today we talk about the goal and potential benefit of the Gatekeeper project, but from the perspective of the Wofton Community Council. If you don't know about the Gatekeeper project, you can check uh, the wonderful video from Steve uh, in the description below and in a link somewhere. Um, today, in particular, we focus on the Spirocco app, which is the app we are going to use for the study. This app uh, makes possible to both create requests and provide support within a local community. And with this app, we are testing a new idea, which combines mutual support with a community level of it. As a researcher, for me, it's very interesting to check this new idea and see what are the effects and maybe potential benefits. But uh, what, why? What's your take? What do you want to understand from it, Steve? Uh, thanks, Alessio. Yeah, I think um, here in Woofton, we're, uh, we're eager to see how we can support communities to take more control, building stronger connections between each other uh, and making sure that everybody's able to get the help and the support that they need when they need it. Um, so the Gatekeeper project has been a really interesting one for us. It's it's quite unusual for a, a local council of our size to be involved in this sort of thing. So the Gatekeeper project, we've been looking at how technology uh, might help this by linking people who have got a need with somebody who's got the time or the specialism or the skills to be able to help them. It could be a similar simple as uh, someone needing help with the lawn being mowed and somebody who's got a lawnmower and has got some time to do it and just putting those people together um, or helping somebody to do their shopping because somebody else is going to the shop at the same time. It's those simple things that can make a real difference. And by supporting this approach, we can help people maintain their independence. We can help improve quality of life. Um, we can help with you know things like health and well-being. So, <coughs> sorry excuse me social contacts and these all lead to more positive lives and stronger communities well we hope stronger and better communities but uh, steve you know uh, we know we can achieve some kind of change we hope that this change will be positive but it's uh, very different to guarantee and predict the results now, it's important to make a study because we can set the, the scenario, we, we, we can consider the opinion of different people, the right of people uh, like you and the community while developing solutions, but we, we don't know about the, the end results, no? So for us, it's already a good outcome to understand what works, but also what doesn't work and why, and what is what could be in the future the role of technology for supporting close relations between families, uh, neighbors, the volunteers, and the council? But uh, what a good result look for you? Um, I think we're we're in exactly the same position. I think we we don't know what's what's going to come from this, mm. but any outcome is going to be positive because it will give us a bit more understanding, a bit more data, a little bit more information, and then we can hopefully um, build upon that. What we what we really want to see, I think, is that, that this project will show the power of the community uh, and the willingness of people to help where they can. We know that Woofton is a place where people are very eager to help each other. We've seen it when we've had flooding. We've seen it over the last couple of years with the pandemic, where people have really kind of stood up and been counted and got involved and helped their neighbours and other people in their community. So if we can get some ideas about whether this, this approach, using the technology, uh, using the apps, using this kind of uh, new and innovative way of, of supporting communities can, can bring additional benefits, that would be a really excellent result for us. OK, thanks. Let's hope. And um, another last uh, point I want to discuss with you is that we start to, to work together on this concept in 2019. Now it is a lifetime way before the COVID pandemic, all the mess that it implied. So in the last two years, uh, I think our priority change at this Open University, I'm sure for the Wolfton Community Council, it was even, even a greater change. Now, how do you see our collaboration and in particular this study fitting in the current vision? 
Um, I mean, it, it has been a while. It feels it feels like a while ago when we when we started doing this. Lots mm. of delays, lots of barriers, but but we will, of course, um, overcome. Uh, so I think. I think this is a really good example of where uh, you as a researcher and the the kind of the might and the skill and the expertise of the Open University and the Gatekeeper Project more more broadly can work uh, collaboratively with 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 Woofden, uh, a small local council, and build something that's potentially greater than the sum of the parts. Um, we've got our specialisms we're very involved with our local community we've got good relationships with people and your research skills and your understanding of, of technology and, and and the other partners involved in this mean that between us we've got a real opportunity to try something new to try something innovative to try something creative and and when we find out whether it works if it works this can be rolled out this can be something mm. that can help support communities across milton Keynes and beyond we want to we want to see technology um bring benefits to the parish local government is not renowned for its speed or its its ability to to move with things so so having something like this having the opportunity to to really take a a new uh, concept a new idea and embed it within our community is is a, a real um a real exciting thing and i hope that this initial project can set a tone for what might come in the future and an ongoing collaboration between us I see, from our point of view, it's time to steal a little bit of both the magic and put it into the technology for everyone to benefit. But thanks a lot, Steve, for your time and your talk. And thanks everyone for watching. We will see you next time.